I don't know what it is, guys. Every time I'm super terrified to make a video, it seems to turn out all right. Great job. Before you watch this video, I would highly recommend checking out my video, Imagine Lying About a Small YouTuber Because of a 13-Year-Old. But for those of you who absolutely refuse to watch it, I'll just make a quick little recap. So there was this person named Cal, and they were 13. They did some really nasty stuff, like throwing around false accusations. Eventually, a 26-year-old named Mari made a 500-page document that was mostly pictures and screenshots. This unfortunately caused a drama, and people like Prison Mate Luke, Izzy Izzy, Galaxy is okay, to make videos. I did not like Prison Mate Luke because he's a stinky doo-doo head. So I made my own video going over the videos of Galaxy is Okay, Izzy Izzy, and Prison Mate Luke. I was really scared and terrified that they would all come after me next and call me an EDP. But luckily that didn't happen. In fact, they all either privated or unlisted their videos. That went way better than I thought it would. If only the Hopeless Peaches drama could have been this easy. Here's what Izzy Izzy had to say. Oh, okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate it. That sucks. But unfortunately, all I can do is apologize and do better going forward. If you could pass my genuine apology onto them, that would be cool. But they're totally within their right to make their own videos and criticisms. As I've said, they're totally valid and I agree. Inserting myself into the drama as a clueless YouTuber who wasn't even involved was ridiculous. And I clearly don't have the full story. But yeah, thank you for letting me know. Anyways, smiley face. And here is what Galaxy is Okay had to say. This is a situation that only recently came to my attention, but regarding a video I have released, <laughs> but regarding a video I had released last year on the 500 page call out document, I've since learned more about both sides of the situation. Sure, Jan. And considering in the video I made pretty much only covered what was in the document and didn't actually look outside of it. The video was extremely one-sided and didn't nearly cover both sides of the story. Uh, Cal was a lot less innocent in the situation than I had realized at the time. Oh, there's a big surprise. And while I still don't agree with the massive document that was put out, I acknowledge that the video I had made had very shallow coverage and was not a fair portrayal of the entire ordeal. And I apologize for that. Covering topics at face value is a mistake I often made. And I'm making a conscious effort to try and not do that anymore. Now because of this, I actually have a newfound respect for Izzy Izzy. I didn't expect her to be this reasonable, to be honest. Galaxy is okay, did what I expected, but for love of god, Galaxy, if Prismate Luke says the sky is blue, look up to check. Now, speaking of my favorite person in the whole wide world, Prismate Luke, why did he take the video down? Is this the start of his redemption arc? Is he turning over a new leaf? Why would he take this video down and not his Hopeless Peaches videos? Mmm, suspicious. Well, I asked Harley, and he explained to me exactly why he did it. He already made his own video on this subject, so if you want to know more information, you could go check that out. But I'm briefly going to summarize it here. So here are some private messages Cal sent to Harley, and uh, let's take a little look-see here. Working with Luke was actually kind of a hassle. I was trying to get through to him and tell him my side, bringing evidence the best I could. But for some reason, he never comprehended it well. I brought evidence and everything, but it was all a scramble to him. I should have noticed sooner. I practically had out everything for Luke. He could confirm with me what he needed to understand. 
I just think he chose to be heavily reliant on me instead of research. Which is weird. Wow. Just wow. Even a person between the age of 13 and 14 who Luke was fighting for thinks they're dumb. This just confirms it. Luke doesn't do research. If you reach out to him first, he'll just believe you without looking into the situation and just make things up on the spot. Luke, I know in your video on me you didn't do the research yourself, so cough it up. Who told you? Cause some little shit is gonna need a stern talking to. I'm gonna be honest, man. There's nothing you can really do except blow up the phone. Maybe even switch accounts. People are relentless and don't stop sometimes. I'm sorry, you're still getting a hate for a situation you didn't even cause. We're if sorry. I can be honest with you, I don't think privating videos or even deleting those tweets would help. People are relentless, and they blame you for what happened. All the same people sided with you, but the crazies haven't. And at this point, you're their Satan. Even if me and all the other people privated the videos, her fans would still attack you. This isn't me trying to get out of privating them. I would if I thought it would help, and I still will if it makes you feel better. <laughs> but I'm being honest when I say, they're not really gonna do anything but validate their arguments that Mari did nothing wrong. Like, the fact that Prismate Luke is fighting so hard to keep his video up, even though the quote-unquote victim that he claims to care about is asking him to take it down. Why are they asking him to take it down? Because the video makes him look bad because he's such a dipshit. Keep in mind, this is someone who Creepshow Art defended. Let's say I was in Prism 8 Luke's shoes. I lied about Hopeless Peaches, a lot of people in the community hate me, and all that juicy stuff. Do you know what I would do? I would throw Creepshow Art under the bus and say she put me up to doing it. Could it be a lie? Maybe, but keep in mind I'm in the shoes of Prismate Luke, so I'm a well-known liar at this point. God, with the last minute of audio, people can so easily take me out of context, holy shit. But do you know why Prismate Luke won't do that? And why he's been silent since the Creepshow Art drama started? Because he's an idiot. You stupid. Creepshow Art was his friend and nice to him one time, so she's perfect in his eyes forever. Prismate Luke has the fucking weirdest moral compass I've ever seen. If someone comes to Prismate Luke first, whether they have evidence or not, he believes them. Why? I don't know! Like Luke, all you have to do is remove your Hopeless Peaches videos, apologize to Hopeless Peaches, and then say Creepshow Art put you up to do it and that she manipulated you. Will Luke lose a lot of views? Yes. But in the long term, it would be so much better for him. People would actually be able to trust him again. But he won't do that. Why? Because it requires something he can't do. Thinking. Luke, I used to be fucking terrified of you. You were so aggressive and always took the least charitable interpretation with people. You tried so hard to ruin the career of me, Hopeless Peaches, Harley, and many others. And for what? Why did you get so popular so fast? Of all people who could have gained 100,000 subscribers in six months, why did it have to be him? I'm serious, why couldn't it have been literally anyone else? I'll tell you how he got popular. Prism A Luke doesn't report on the news. He creates it. He created a false narrative with me, Hopeless Peaches, Harley, and for what? So he could get clout. Him and his fan base try to pretend like everybody else is a clout chaser, or they do this and that for clout. You don't gain 100,000 subscribers in less than six months by not being a clout chaser. I was afraid of Luke because he was gaining subs super fast. I thought he was a genius. Everybody was telling me how nice of a guy he was and how they looked up to him and all this other shit. But he got a surprise attack on me, caught me with my pants around my ankles, and still lost in the end. I was afraid to make a video on Luke because I knew he would respond in just two days. He worked fast and he seemed to know the algorithm inside and out. But after a while I realized he wasn't some YouTube genius. He was just some dipshit who got lucky. And ironically, defending people like Cal and Puppy Chan was part of his downfall. He called Antunes a creep for going after a 17-year-old. Called Mari a creep for going after a 13-year-old. 
So once he went after a 16 year old, AKA a minor, he looked like a massive fucking hypocrite. He stacked the cards against himself like holy shit. Why am I bringing this up you may ask? Well it's for all the people defending Cal cause they're a minor. Cause one day a minor is gonna harass you and you know, if you fight back, you're gonna look like a hypocrite and your audience is gonna turn on you. Now Fish Lips has made an apology video. It's kind of sad that the smallest channel out of everybody actually made an apology video, but that's besides the point. I didn't watch her video on the Mari situation because her channel was gone so I couldn't watch it. And I made a statement about her video that I got from someone else's video, but I couldn't double check it because, well, her video was gone. So here is what she had to say. Was me accusing Mari of being a predator because of my CSCA and CSEM history, which was false. I called her that because she was being creepy with 500 pages. She accused them of faking their age because of said links of the voice sounding like an adult, told them personal things like their mother was saying they would burn in hell and her mental state with breakdowns and medicine, which I found to be too disgusting for my liking. I'm glad she apologized and I'm sorry for the mistake I made. I tried to edit it out of my video, but for some reason YouTube editor wasn't working because I already edited the video earlier on. So I decided to do the next best thing and clear up the misinformation in this video. So um, what, what, what happened after my video went up? What, what was going on on Twitter? You wanna know? You really wanna know? So my boy Yogg, who you might know as the guy who helps me and Seth the Programmer and a lot of other people with power scaling videos, sent me some tweets on Cal's private Twitter. Let's read them and see what they have to say. Oh wow, we he said that I wasn't the victim of Mari and everything and blamed me for everything. I'm assuming that picture is supposed to be me, but uh... I'm a lot more unattractive than that, sorry. Well, we guys, since I'm private and stuff, can someone do me a favor and tell people to report this video since it's harassment slash endangerment of a minor? I need this boosted and gone since it will just give me more harassment than ever. And what do you know? Racist is friends with a racist. Shows a video where I'm tweeting out a black person's video, but, um, oh, okay. I mean, is it just me, or does every single person who calls me a racist end up being revealed to be a terrible person? Prism 8 Lou, Creep Show Art, and now Cal. So I decided to take these screenshots and tweet out, so I see that they are lying about me behind my back and telling people to flag my video. Dot, 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 dot. This is just sad. Little did I know, by tweeting those screenshots out, I had summoned the guardians of Twitter. Why are you leaking a 13-year-old's private account? Ugh, him again. How can one man be this genuinely honest to God pathetic? You're picking on a 14-year-old. Christ! At least pick on someone your age. You absolute coward. And if you're unable to attack a 14-year-old without stalking them, then you've already lost. Give up now. Holy shit. So is Cal 13 or 14? It keeps changing. The answer is 14. The person in the first tweet doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. As for the second point, how am I pathetic? I was going up against Izzy Izzy, Prismate Luke, Galaxy is okay, all at the same time. The narrative was completely in Cal's favor. I'm a motherfucking badass! Weird ass motherfuckers doing this to a child instead of actually being and acting like an adult. This person along with a few others like to say that I'm stalking a minor. Even though I'm not, someone just sent me screenshots and I tweeted them out. But we all know what their intentions are by using terms like stalking. A lot of these people like to use the most defamatory language they possibly can. I'm probably not using that word right, but I don't give a shit. IRL if y'all harass a 14 year old like this. What? I know IRL stands for in real life, but what does that even fucking mean? And like what? One fucking tweet? Jesus. 
Uh, yep, there it is, the I used to be a fan of you card, even though they won't even bother watching the video I made. If anyone is a fan of me, and they hear something about me without getting my side of the story first, please fuck off my channel. Mwah! Magnifico! We have come to my favorite comment! Wow, this guy is just as annoying, if not more so, than Solar Sands. Drama YouTubers, 90% of the time, always end up being pathetic losers and end up stalking young minors. Adult men stalking a high school freshman? On a private account? Sounds a little predatory, don't you think? Ah, oh, man, this dude totally caught me. Of course I'm a predator. Don't you know Predator 101? You have to harass and make videos on people if you want to get in their pants. Like when people call me a simp or a predator for defending a minor, that's one thing. But when they call me that for criticizing a minor, are you guys serious? That's just fucking stupid. Are you fucking insane? Do you not realize how fucking insane and predatory this shit is? You're profiting off of a drama centering around a child who was stalked by the person you're defending. What the fuck is wrong with you? I got into it with this guy a little bit on Twitter, and he refused to watch my video. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. If I ever become this obsessed over what a kid online is doing, just shoot me in the head! I hate that YouTuber! This is sick! Watch the video! No! Why are you posting private screenshots uncensored? I don't know, why are they asking people to flag down my video? And how am I obsessed? It's one fucking tweet. And yes, you really should watch the video to know what the fuck is going on. Hey, uh, not only are you not specifying what exactly they're lying about, you don't provide any evidence on your part to disprove any misinformation. You just said they're lying about me. What about? Question mark. Oh, that's a very good question. You would know if you actually fucking watched my video. They claimed I said they weren't the victim when I never once said that. I just said they weren't as innocent as people were led to believe. Did I blame them for everything? No, I put most of the blame on Luke. Also, they're asking people to, I don't know, fucking flag my video? Why don't you have a problem with that? Why does no one have a problem with others trying to flag down my fucking video? News flash to everyone, I don't give a fucking shit if your Twitter is private. If you try to flag down my video, the gloves are coming off. I'm also unsure why you're revealing posts from a 14 year old's private account after they've stated they've been getting harassed by people who watched your video. Maybe you should watch the video. Maybe it's fucking justified. And now you're making this situation worse because your fans are going to see this and be inclined to defend you. Oh dear god, people defending me from a false flagger? Huh, I must be worse than Hickler. He's like Hitler, but a hillbilly, by the way. What are you doing? Also, ew, free block list in the comments of grown-ass adults trashing on some kid and insulting them for being concerned about their safety. Oh wow, Cal is concerned about their safety because people keep talking about this situation, a situation they made blow up and got many big YouTubers involved, but now that the tides of battle are turning, suddenly they're concerned about their safety? And what makes them concerned about their safety? What the fuck is going to happen? This is fucking internet drama. They're a teenager, they can do whatever the fuck they want. No one tells you that until you're too old. I really love how this person is saying that I'm leaking a child's private tweets while simultaneously saying my fans are harassing them, but their Twitter is private, so how is that possible? Their last comment says I should just block the person. Cal already blocked me. I'm not concerned about a child lying about me. I'm concerned about someone trying to get my video flagged down. Can't believe I used to watch his videos. So glad I stopped ages ago. I'm also glad you stopped watching my videos. Clearly you're too dumb to understand them. Oh, he's done way more than that. He called himself an anti-SJW. 
so you can imagine how bad it got. I think you meant to say you can imagine just how based and red pilled he is. Oh! Does this guy have nothing else to do and just pick fights with kids? Why is it that if you do something one time, it's suddenly all you do according to certain people? Go to hell, all of you. And for the people who are agreeing with this weirdo, he's not going to fuck you. <laughs> So this tweet got a decent amount of attention, 157 likes. They just say all the generic stuff. You're making them feel unsafe, but their account is private. They completely ignore the part where they told people to flag my fucking video down. And then they end by saying, I don't know how else to explain that you are not in the right. Well, I already know you don't know how to explain how I'm in the wrong. Because no one does, because they don't watch my fucking video. And not one of these people have used a fucking safe word. I decided to look at the comments underneath this tweet, and the first one is a real gem. Not even surprised, this dude has a history of making videos involving minors, POCs, LGBT, PPL, minding their own business. Like, this is my problem right here with identity politics. He's just bringing up their sexuality and race as if it's an argument. There's not one single argument here, it's just, he went after minors, and black people, and the gays. Did you know that minorities can be bad people too sometimes? And while I'm at it, Santa Claus also isn't real. Now something interesting happened. Cal actually made their own video about this situation. On a channel that only has one video. What is it with channels that are popping up and only making one video on me? This has happened already twice this week. And both of them call me racist without using the definition. I'm having lies spread, horrible things said, and I've lost so much this week. Some racist YouTuber- up oh, that's me! With a huge platform, still not as big as Izzy Izzy's or Prism 8 Luke's at the time, made a video concerning me. Having multiple videos about you, that's just lies and for clout. What is it with this whole, you're just doing this for clout argument? I did my creep show art videos for clout. I didn't talk about this dead drama for clout. Cal also claims that I called them a stupid little girl, which no, I never did. I called Omni a stupid woman and apologized for that. But you can't use what I did to someone else and claimed I did it to you. Both me and Mari are not innocent. Yeah, it's kind of funny how you weren't saying that until after my video came out. The narrative was that Mari was just a crazy woman who was going after a minor for no reason. And the minor did absolutely nothing wrong. This happened in the Hopeless Peaches drama as well. After I started making my video series, people were saying, Come on now, everybody's a little bit in the wrong. I don't know why Jar doesn't understand that, even though he keeps saying that over and over and over again. Guess what, everybody? Dramas are not always black and white. And just because I point out the little gray areas doesn't mean you suddenly get to pretend like you always saw them. You heard the side of Mari's defenders? <laughs> no! We were hearing your side from Izzy Izzy, Prism 8 Luke, Galaxy is Okay, Videos that got tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands to half a million views. You don't get to say, oh, please hear my side of the story, after the other side barely starts getting their side out. Like, holy shit, this is just like the Hopeless Pizzas drama. I'm getting victim blamed because of a few negative things from me, stemmed from a fucker who calls another, uh, C slash slash ass n slash slash r and many other adult shit bags so i'm sure you guys understand what the second word is but the first word is um it sounds like raccoon but without the rack part and for the last time i don't call people fucking slurs i quoted a guy and criticized him for saying it that's not me calling someone else it holy shit can you people stop lying about me also, saying a word doesn't make you a racist or anything like that. It was years ago and I already said sorry for it. Jesus Christ. I think I should just go full Keemstar and not apologize for anything. 
Mari goes on to call my 19-year-old autistic black friend a uh, loser ass. That's very polite. None of the multiple people who've harassed me failed to recognize that I'm a real person. Actually, we do recognize you're a real person. Everybody else just recognizes you as an any winny innocent minor. I'm really sick of people on the internet doing this. By the way, I'm a real person. Yeah, so was Jack the Ripper. You want a cookie? But the thing that pissed me off most was when they said, I've had to suck it up and all by myself. You had huge YouTubers defending you. Everyone was on your side. Everyone was going after Mari. You did not do this by yourself. I keep seeing these YouTubers who have everyone on their side and they're still acting like a victim. But they keep pushing it further and further because nothing will be enough for them. And eventually they lose all the support they got because all the videos defending you have been taken down. Now, I'm a lot more forgiving towards Cal than certain other groups that try to act like victims even though everyone's on their side, because Cal is still a minor. They're only 14. While I don't think being a minor should make you completely immune to criticism, I am willing to be a lot more lenient towards them. Minors can make a lot of mistakes. They're still learning. Here's a piece of advice for you, Cal. If you make a new Twitter, don't immediately block me on it, because I am going to discover it. Yeah, someone sent me a link as to what they thought Cal's new Twitter was, and I immediately knew it was Cal's Twitter because, well, I was blocked on it. Cal, you're seriously just making things worse for yourself. Mari is not perfect, and you're not perfect. But you got way too many people involved, and I had to debunk a lot of the false information you helped spread around. I want to ask all of you watching this video to please not go after Cal, which would be pretty hard anyways since their Twitter is private, but that's besides the point.